Hi, it's Dr. Jerome Fryer here. Is that ever shiny on the top of the head? Anyways, I had a patient that uh, we had to dissect her posture. Uh, she had an episode of back pain uh, from actually she was doing the dishes and she was at the sink and she was she was kind of rotating and putting dishes into the into the dishwasher and um, that, that was one clue uh, but when we started to sort of reveal how she holds herself she says well I've always been taught to tuck my pelvis under right to tuck the pelvis under this way right and she'd been taught this from an early age she taught her children to do this I think it was prevalent in the 70s uh, and 80s and 90s and even into the 2000s we're still hearing that concept of tucking the pelvis under um, the only the only thing that's that could be helpful for is probably people that have stenosis which is a totally different condition so I'm not talking about that in particular I'm talking about the sort of the middle-aged um, people that have been instructed to tuck the pelvis under um, why are people doing that I'm not too sure but if you tuck the pelvis under also called posterior pelvic tilt you're putting more pressure on the intervertebral discs which are these structures on the front so very important to engage the facet joints. These facet joints are load-bearing structures that you want to engage, and that comes by way of keeping this natural curve. You want to keep this natural curve to the back. You don't want to get rid of that curve. You want to keep that natural curve to engage the facet joints so the load is more distributed evenly across each motion segment. You want to try and reduce the compressive effects of gravity on the intervertebral discs. And by doing that, and, and one technique to do that is you engage the facet joint. So, um, so this whole concept of tucking your pelvis, she was just baffled. She's like, what? I, I go, yeah, this is what the science shows now. You don't want to tuck your pelvis. I'm not too sure where it came from. Maybe somebody can enlighten me, but... If you want optimal posture, it's best to have a lordotic curve or a curve here to engage these facet joints so there's not so much compression on the intervertebral discs. So I hope that's helpful.